This is Code Combat. I'm working on Time to Live, which is part of their Game Development 1 course, level 16, and this is the Python version of it. Goals. Win the game. Set up a munchkin generator. Oh wow, we can generate munchkins? Set up an attack damage and max health for the player. Okay, um, so I guess we have to declare those. Set up 20 second survival goal. Oh, I didn't know we could do that either. Game dot, and then this is the method, survivor goal, and I guess we put 20 in as our argument, right? Anything between the parentheses is the argument. It's what tells this thing what to do. You don't have to have something there, though, uh, this function, this method. Set up goal, a goal for the player to survive until all other goals are complete. You can pass a number as an argument, like... Okay, yeah, like that. To configure it so that the player has to survive 20 seconds. All right, let's see what we got. Pass an argument to the survive goal to specify the time. And remember, if it has a hashtag, that is a comment. When we hit run on the code, the computer skips it, but we read it. It's for programmers. This means the player must survive for 20 seconds. So game, and that's our game board object. This is the method, the thing that does something, and this is an argument, 20 seconds, I guess. Spawn a generator with spawn xy. Use the variable to configure the generator below. This is the variable, right? So it says generator. What generator is equal to is game dot spawn xy generator, and then this is the xy coordinate, 60, 40, because there's an invisible xy graph behind this, x being on the horizontal, y being up and down, Zero, zero being somewhere way down there. 60, 40? I wonder where that's at. Oh, it's right here, I guess. Yep. All right. Set up the generator spawn type to munchkin. Okay, so spawn munch. Okay, so to set up the spawn type, right, if we already have this, we made it a variable generator. And you can name it whatever. I think what we can do now, though, is generator dot spawn type. Okay, because it's a property now, because what this really means, what this generator means is this thing. And then instead of writing this out every time to set the spawn type, we can just write generator. This variable represents that dot spawn type. And then we can set it equal to uh, spawn type munchkin, I think. I'm going to go ahead and test this. I test a lot. So I hit run a lot. I get it wrong a lot. It makes it easier, though, to test it as you go. Oh, and it is the it's a munchkin. Okay, so far, so good. Use player XY to spawn a hero for the player. And they already have that. They named them player. Again, this is a variable. This is now equal to whatever this is. It can be anything. I'm actually going to change this tonight. It will work just the same. All this is saying, you can change it to Fred or Sunshine. I just don't have a space in it. All it is meaning is, hey, this now, night, or Y. This represents game spawn hero XY night at this coordinate. So it just equals what we created, what we spawned, our night hero. So night. Set the player to max health. Since I changed it to night, I need to say night dot max health for the property, don't forget, oh me, equals to at least a hundred. I want more than that. I want, I don't know, a thousand. If you left this as player, that's fine. Your players then just name player for their variable. And then you just need to keep this as player. Set the player's attack damage. Player dot attack uh, damage equals to at least 10. Nah, let's make him stronger. 15. Play the game. Okay, that all looks good. Let's hit play. Yeah! Do we do it? Survive time, 20 seconds. Perfect. Okay. If you want to look at the code again. Let 
let's keep going.